You're a bunch of goddamn weirdos! And I love it! So every year you do auditions, and then it's the week later that you do the classes, and that's where you really see where you're gonna be for the year. She's so excited to be here! You know, we get to take all these young, new, unassuming actors and turn them into the most terrifying, hardened criminals that you've ever seen. Now, have you guys acted at haunted houses before? No. Uh, well, I, if you count, like, one you put on in your uncle's house. We believe in that educational part. No, we don't want to just throw a bunch of bodies in here and call it a day. What's it? <laughs> well, I've been working for Statesville technically since I was 14. This is going to be my third year full time. Uh, the last two years I was a volunteer, but the two years before that I was working full time. Were you also trained at all as far as like, you know, acting No. I'm just a, I'm just a spaz. That's where all this comes from. Let's go to class! The real test is when I got them all out there in the field. John is crazy. Put your hands up in the air! Go! Whoa! Go! Go! These are the people that you're going to be working with, so you want to get that connection early on. We had intro to movement for the Haunted House actor. We think movement is far stronger than giving you a couple pieces of dialogue and letting you yell at people. We try to make you beyond what the average person is based on how you move. The first thing I want is where their center is. I want to know where all their energy comes from. I want to know where all their power comes from. Use the entire circle. Walk around. And when you do start moving, your chest is pulling you across this space. What did you guys see? Confidence, power, boobs. You see how a simple, a simple exercise of breathing into your center not only communicates about you, but it communicates something about everybody around you. Tempo is what comes after center, and that's the speed in which they move around, their natural movement speed. Think about Michael Myers or Jason. It's always the chest. Weapon presented, slow, pace. It would have been totally different if Michael Myers like, what did you guys see with everyone when we were going slow with the forehead? Searching, weak, stalking. What changed when we went fast? Attack, intensity. Like we found what we were looking for or we were trying to get to it? Yes. And then once you have center and tempo, I work with balance. It's not your balance, it's balance of the space. While I'm looking at him and he's doing his thing and he's walking me out of the room, Boom, there's the next person. Who's then walking me a little further, a little further, and boom, there's the next person. I want you to establish balance with each other in this room while committing to your center and the tempo. I was truly delighted. I, I, was, I was truly entertained by what I saw because these people didn't just do what I was asking them to do, they ran with it. I walked away from that just like beaming. I was like, what the, this is so great. You're taking my class, we're going after the tent now! Jeff Walker's class, which was about being a front of house actor. I go, and I go hard, running on all fours, sliding on my knees. I love it, man. My body doesn't, but I do. We are the front lines of the army, not the ones that carry the flags and get shot, like back in the day. <laughs> we're the guys that set them up. We set the tone. That is front of house. People think front of house is the coolest spot, but don't understand it's also one of the hardest spots. Protecting the inside. I'm that guy that goes up and gets this close to your face, it's fluffy, to see if you're gonna punch me. I'd rather go up, get punched in the face, get knocked out, whatever, so it doesn't happen to you. When it goes, in, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> when you go inside. Big tough guy, right? Checking his girlfriend. This could be your girlfriend. <laughs> he does that, do something, big tough guy. What do I do? Stay next to him. Exactly. Everyone laughed, right? He's gonna start laughing too. I just defuse that whole situation. I'll go, I'll tell my guys, leave that group alone. Knowing when to stop. If you scare someone, all right, cool. And then you sit there for five minutes and, and work on that one person. That one person gets scared, 
Sometimes they have fun. Sometimes they get pissed off. You know, I'll do my, my sprints in line, but I'll never get full speed right next to them. Because you get up on somebody, they're gonna freak out. This kid's running, screaming, freaking out, turns, wham! <laughs> kid wakes up, Fluffy's right above him. And me, I'm like talking like, are you okay, dude, are you okay? But I don't wanna take a mask off because everyone's still watching. Kid wakes up, goes, ah! Throws up on himself, pass out. <laughs> Knowing when to stop. Take challenges, but take a challenge. Try to scare that guy that thinks nothing scares him. I want to push them kind of to their limit. Well, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for coming to the class. I think my favorite part, though, is when we had to do the uh, advanced character development. We look at these roles like we'd look at if we were writing a film. You've got to have a deep character or nobody's going to care. Then I'll walk up to somebody and go, all right, what's your character? I'm a psycho killer. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, but what were you before that? No, I was born a psycho killer. <laughs> All right, got it, dude. You're a psycho killer. What's your name? Psycho killer. God damn it. <laughs> it's weak. It's shallow. It's not the stuff that's going to stick in their head when they go home. As an actor, you're not just this free-form artist. You're a craftsman like a carpenter is a craftsman. And if a carpenter shows up to a job site with just a hammer, he's a pretty crappy carpenter. Just like if a haunted house actor shows up at a haunted house and all that person could do is go, ah! That's why we develop characters. So that we are entertainers. So that we are interesting. So that we have more than grr or boo or get out. Please don't ever tell them to get out. They paid $30 to get in. <laughs> all of our featured characters have these biographies that go back way before they were prisoners. Because every prisoner was somebody first. Know what your background is. Know what your family history is. Know what your special skills, your education. I worked in a rodeo for three years. Or you could get into that more. I started as a clown at the Bulls Chase, and that sucked because I wasn't very fast. <laughs> so they moved me to roping, which I was very, very good at. So now you're someone who knows how to tie people up. Every one of us has an action every time we're doing anything ever. To dominate, to destroy, to accuse, to beg, to seduce, to celebrate. But you could play all of those actions and you could bounce back and forth. If you jump out, you wanna see my cricket village? And they're all like, holy shit, and they're backing up, going, oh no, 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 it's a great cricket village. <laughs> Bring them in, now they're even more uncomfortable. It was great, I thought they all jumped on, they responded well, and I like what I see, I'm excited. Imagine what 120 of those people are gonna look like in this building. Suddenly, <laughs> uh. I can't wait for October. Anna! Ah! You cannot unsee that! Days of the Living Dead is brought to you by Trans World Halloween and Attraction Show, bringing you the most exhibitors and best industry-related products for the last two decades at haashow.com. Halloween Extreme, the only Halloween prop and effect trade show open to the public at halloweenextreme.com. And Legendary Haunt Tour. Experience world-class, state-of-the-art haunted attractions from behind the scenes while networking with fellow haunters from across the country at legendaryhauntour.com.